As a patron saint of Freemasonry, John the Baptist holds a place of esteemed honor in the craft. His feast day, June 24th, is celebrated each year by Masons around the world. But who was St. John the Baptist, and why did Freemasons choose him as a patron? There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. St. John the Baptist, as an archetypal or historical figure, was a just, upright, and honorable individual. John was a Jewish ascetic and prophet, considered the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Asceticism is a practice honored by many religious traditions. Ascetics like John adopt a frugal lifestyle, characterized by the renunciation of material possessions and physical pleasures. The Gospel of Matthew reads that St. John baptized with water, preached in the wilderness, wore clothes made of camel's hair, and ate a diet of locusts and wild honey. St. John the Baptist is also honored in the Quran as a classical prophet, exalted by God. John's gentle love and his humble attitude towards life granted him purity of life. And piety as from us in purity, he was devout. John is also revered highly in Sufism, an esoteric branch of Islam, primarily because of his kindness and purity. In Christianity, particularly Catholicism, June 24th marks the feast day of St. John the Baptist. According to the Bible, John was Jesus' cousin. John's mother, Elizabeth, was related to Jesus' mother, Mary. When Elizabeth was six months pregnant, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary to illuminate their situation. Both women were pregnant unexpectedly with some level of divine assistance. Elizabeth was considered too old for having children, and Mary was both young and unmarried. According to the Gospel of Mark, John was a messenger sent to prepare the way for the Christ. Accordingly, the feast of John the Baptist is set on June 24th, near the summer solstice. The birth of Jesus is celebrated on December 25th, near the winter solstice. This progression on the calendar matches the rituals and observations of many other religions and faith, including the pagan tradition. When John was questioned about the baptisms he performed, which included the baptism of Jesus, he stated, Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. John paved the way for another to follow, his cousin Jesus, demonstrating humility and rejecting personal acclaim. This mirrors the astronomical progression in the heavens each year. At the winter solstice, when the sun moves northward, the days begin to lengthen and there is a slow increase in light. At the summer solstice, when the sun moves southward, the days begin to shorten, and there's a gradual decrease of light. The name John is derived from the Hebrew Yohanan, meaning Yahweh is gracious. Yahweh is one of the Hebrew names for God, who some consider an aspect of God. This is represented in Hebrew by the tetragrammaton yod he vav he which derive from the old Semitic root hawa, meaning to be or to become. Thus the name John means to become gracious. Freemasons emulate the archetypal role of John the Baptist by becoming gracious. They labor to express love for their brothers and all of humanity. They revere what is holy and practice compassion, mercy, and kindness, regardless of how their labors are perceived 
or how they are treated in return. Freemasons pave the way, but their acclaim diminishes as they raise up their fellow man. Why was John the Baptist chosen as patron saint of Freemasonry? He dedicated his life to opening the eyes of mankind to the light. He was a man of integrity and high moral character who bequeathed to us a life worthy of emulating. Simplicity and purity of living, ardent zeal for his work, and service to humanity. Ultimately, John the Baptist lovingly sacrificed himself, his personal desires subjugated by his higher duty and mission. He remained faithful unto death and dedicated to the cause of bringing light into the darkness. John the Baptist continues to light the way for all who seek to serve humanity.